Zafton shares are seeing a strong advance in midweek trade. The maker of the experimental drug Bello Ranup is one of the biggest gainers. What's behind the game? Hi, Jane. Zafgen is soaring over 100% in early trade. The maker of the controversial obesity drug released positive data on belorinib. Zafgen announced that its double-blind placebo-controlled phase 3 study was successful. Belorinib was evaluated as treatment for prader willi syndrome. It achieved its co-primary efficacy endpoints. Now, the company says the first experimental treatment showed significant reduction in body weight as well as hyperphagia-related behavior in patients. Now, hyperphagia are pathological hunger-related urges that are exhibited in patients with Prader-Willi syndrome. Now, Belorinib makes the body produce less fat and burns off excess fat as fuel. The latest report included data from 74 patients who completed the trial. Now, keep in mind that 27 patients completed at least 75% of the trial before regulators placed a partial hold on the trial last autumn. In October of last year, a patient participating in the trial died of unknown causes. Zafgen shares took a hit last year. In December, the FDA placed Bello Ranib's IND application on hold. Now, how does the company plan to address the FDA? Good question, Jane. The FDA placed a complete clinical hold on Belorinib on December 2nd. The agency placed the hold on Zafgen's investigational new drug application for Belorinib. Now, this came after a second patient died from an artery blockage in the lung. This occurred during the open-label extension portion of a late-stage trial. Nonetheless, Zafgen says it will give the FDA safety and efficacy data from its latest study, along with data from another trial. It's still working on understanding the impact of belorinib on blood clotting. According to the company's CEO, Zafgen plans to address FDA concerns over belorinib's development in the coming months. Could this be the beginning of a turnaround for Zafgen? Well, today's rally takes share prices above the $11 mark, but prices are still off its 52-week high above $55. If you look at this one-year chart, we can see how shares dipped after the first patient death in the Belorinib trial, followed by its subsequent dip to 52-week lows after the second patient death. Now, with today's move, the market cap of the Boston, Massachusetts-based company is roughly at $315 million. This is significant, especially since Zafgen lost over 80% of its value in the past 12 months. Now, there are existing obesity drugs on the market, but many solutions work by suppressing appetite. Among current obesity drugs that are on the market, they work by suppressing hunger, and Arena Pharma as well as Orexigen Therapeutics and Vivus are among the major players. Novo Nordisk also has an injectable drug, Sazenda. Although Novo's uh, main focus is on diabetes treatments, its approach of developing drugs to help patients lose weight makes sense. As for Zafgen, Blorinib met its main goals in the Phase 3 trial. It succeeded in reducing weight and hyperphagia behaviors compared to placebo. With statistically significant results, there is still a long road ahead for the company. The FDA still has to release the clinical hold on the drug, and data is still necessary before Zafgen can file for approval. Also, the issue of blood clotting risks need to be addressed. Basically, this means more research and time is necessary to weigh the risks as well as benefits.